Hi, I'm Karen from KarenWilkins.com, where we show entrepreneurs, probably just like yourself, how to build a successful business online and off just by using simple tips, techniques, strategies, systems, and solutions. Well, today I'm discussing email marketing as a productive strategy. Now, I'm giving you five tips. Can you think of five reasons that will make your email marketing campaigns more productive? Well, in this video, we're going to discuss two tips. Hopefully, you know what they are and you're already doing them. But if not, then hopefully you'll take advantage of the information that I give you and apply it to your email marketing campaigns so that they're more productive. But we'll get into a discussion about two tips that I really think you ought to kind of put into your marketing strategies immediately as soon as I return so don't go nowhere because I'm coming right back and we'll get into that discussion then thanks for sticking around okay so the two reasons that I think um, makes email marketing campaigns a little more productive well one is that when you have a mobile marketing campaign that you make certain is mobile friendly, you really, you, you, it's like a slam dunk. You know, you hit a home run every single time you do that. The reason is because most people are looking at their emails on a mobile device. See, they choose times when they're on the go, like either on their way home from work and they're, you know, passing the time away, waiting for the bus or waiting for a train or even taking the ride, looking at their mobile device. They're not doing it while they're driving, I don't think. And I know they shouldn't, but they choose to take a look at their emails during their downtimes, and that's usually when they're on the go. So by you making certain that your email marketing campaigns are responsive, meaning that it will respond to whatever device your recipient is looking at it, that is a slam dunk all day long. So make certain that the next time you write an email, you make certain you know what it looks like on no matter what device your recipient is going to use. Now, when it comes to devices, you want to make certain you know what it looks like on a laptop, on a desktop, on a tablet, and on a phone. And when it comes to phones, you want to look at both Android and an iOS, which is an Apple or iPhone okay so make certain that that's something that you incorporate into your marketing efforts when it comes to email marketing campaigns now the second thing that makes email marketing campaigns productive is to have a lot of interesting information that's key see when you have a subject line that piques the curiosity of your recipient that is the first thing they're going to see and that's the one thing that will determine whether they're going to open up your email or not so you want to do some research on what makes a recipient open up their email it wouldn't hurt to do that because once you got that down pat you'll have no problem getting your open rate up you know now the other thing is that once they've opened now you want to make certain your message is congruent with the subject line and it's interesting because it's nothing like opening up an email that's boring and it's going nowhere okay so you want to make your email marketing campaigns very interesting pique the curiosity of your recipient and you want to make certain that you're providing them with a lot of value. Value is key. That's the way you develop a relationship with your recipients, with your subscribers, with your followers. Is providing valuable content is key. So I hope those two points really brought you some value and that you get an opportunity of implementing them in your marketing efforts today, meaning into your email marketing campaign. See, the other thing that a lot of marketers don't realize is 
you need to be connecting with your email subscribers on a consistent basis every day if possible but definitely five days out of seven in the week you know like if you take the weekend off because you're doing other things in your business no one can be mad with you about that but to leave your subscribers and your followers alone for any length of time without touching base with them letting them know what's going on with you what's going on with your business or even finding out what's going on with them is a no-no you need to be a little more consistent a little more regular and you want to make certain that the information is an ebb and flow you want to know what's going on with them and you want to tell them about what's going on with you so I hope this information has been of value if it has make certain that you like and share now in my post for today I have three more tips that I really want to share with you so go over to the blog read the post in its entirety if it brings you value make certain you like it and then share it with someone so that they can get value as well now the other thing I would love for you to do while you're over there is you know the drill subscribe to my blog see when you subscribe to my blog not only will you get my post as soon as I release them but you'll be subscribing to my personal newsletter and that's where you and I will develop a relationship that's where we'll connect see you'll get to hear what's on my mind and feel what's in my heart and at the same time I'll get to know what you like and what you don't like how because I, I'm taking a look at my open rates. And so when I see that you're not opening up my emails, then I know I'm not hitting the right chord and I can make the right adjustments. But it's just something that you have to do. It doesn't mean anything, but I just didn't hit the chord with you. And that's real important for me. So I'm doing this segment on email marketing so you'll understand that's what you have to pay attention to so if you just start putting these tips or incorporating these tips into your marketing strategies you'll get some better conversion rates well my time is up and I gotta go but I'll see you back here in the next video same time same place until then please stay safe bye for now